No, we are unable to understand your uh, prayer. What is that prayer? Petitioner got a contract for renovation of 100 quarters of railway. Ah. Giving the lowest and awarded contract. There is a general clauses contract of Union of India which provides that during the contract period if there is price variation, then there is a clause of price variation clause under which the increase or decrease in the price of the material, labor, etc. is adjusted by the uh, Union of India. The benefit of that price variation clause was given to others, whereas my case, it was rejected by is my Lord that the claim of the petitioner for price escalation was rejected by the respondent while later dated 1 8 2013 and subsequent court by said that the be declared null and void. What was that PVC clause? But, uh, the PVC clause is my Lord that with respect to materials, cement, concrete, steel, labor factor, transportation, increase in fuel. In every contract by Union of India, there is a provision for price variation clause. My Lord, there is applicable, then in the B, uh, A is about general of that price variation clause. B is applicability of price variation clause. Benefit has been given to whom? My Lord, to other contractors in their different respective contracts. What is that? In case of Dinesh Technocrat Private Limited and in case of uh, one Mrs. Ram Sanjeevan Chaudhary, they were given contract for 14 and 7 quarters. This petitioner was given contract for 100 quarters repairing, but in each case that price variation clause has not been made applicable. But Very vaguely you have stated in your counter with paragraph 15. With regard to the statement made in paragraph 10 of the repetition, petition, which is stated that as per clause of each agreement payment is being made. And here also it is there. The stand of the railway be that uh, they, uh, they contend that uh, since in the agreement of the petitioner that was signed by between the petitioner and the railway. So then you, uh, are you not required to produce uh, uh, two agreements? The agreement is there on record, my lord. The no, report. agreements of the, uh, such of those persons who have been extended. That has not been no, then. But you have to produce, not to compare that in, in those cases, in the agreement there is a clause, whereas in his case it is not there. On the agreement that has been produced by Lord uh, between the petitioner and the uh, railways, my Lord. Sir, do you understand? Lord, I am uh, appreciating what my Lord is saying. Ah, then you produce it. Oblige. Remember, sir, the petitioner uh, on the score that uh, the respondents have discriminated the petitioner insofar as uh, insofar as uh, price escalation concerned. In this regard, the, in para 10, the petitioner has uh, said that there is a discrimination. On the other hand, for use of the para 15 of the counter it it is uh, merely stated that as per clause of uh, each agreement, payment is being made to the agency. In support of such contention, it is necessary to for use uh, both the agreements of the petitioner as well as uh, Mrs. Dinesh Technocrat, uh, Private, huh? Mrs. Dinesh Technocrat Private Limited and Mrs. Ramsan Jeevan Jain. Other contractors' names uh, which are stated in para 10 to start. You produce the, those agreements and also the uh, general conditions of contract. But any agreement executed between railway and contractors cannot override the terms of general clauses of the contract. Sir, why don't you produce all those documents? You are representing your uh, railways. Huh? Are you claiming any privilege? Uh, then what is the fun in not producing those documents which are relevant? 